Right, here we go. It's a bit of a rant, but it's time to get it off my chest. It's zip. 303s. So we've got this man called James Bracey who will give us a lovely video where he will read out the zip advertising spiel. Um, but there's no need for that. We can read the spiel instead. Um, so alas, this is a zip 303. So you know it's supposed to be like the mid depth sort of well, li like light wheels basically. That's the point. Uh, so 303. It's supposed to be cheap. So sub 1k, which is apparently unbelievable for zip. So um, you know we'll, we'll look into the details. Don't call it a budget wheel. I mean, if it's sub 1k, I wouldn't be calling it a budget wheel. I'd be calling it a 200 quid carbon wheel a budget wheel. Um, so anyway, you can see here we've got some nice hubs. Hubs, I don't really know much about hubs, to be honest. I just feel like most of them are decent. Some of them aren't. Zip hubs, some people say they're good, some people say they don't. But we'll move on to the into the internal width. Um, saying it's very wide rim, uh, which apparently is quite good. Um, good for comfort, maybe not so good for aerodynamics. Um, and obviously, uh, apparently, it's supposed to be used for gravel as well. Uh, so it's saying it's been um, works with 25 millimeters tires. It's supposed to be for gravel. It's got a U shape. Anyway, they're just reading out the marketing spiel. All right. So the, the first issue is this: um, the rim is a maximum recommended pressure of 73 psi. Right. So that's not ideal. I mean, fair enough. If you're on gravel, that is ideal. Not going to go over 73. But if you're like a 100 kilo lad, riding on some road. You might want more than 73 PSI, especially if in a country where they got top roads. In the UK, we have terrible roads, so yeah, fair enough, no. But in Thailand, where the roads are very smooth, then uh, yeah, you know, that will be a bit of an issue. And I just don't understand why you have to have 73 PSI as a limit. It seems pretty low to me, and it seems like that's just cutting costs for no apparent reason, and they're still not that cheap. Um, so we'll move on to the next bit, which is uh, where I really get quite upset. Um, the 302 weighs in 1643. These weigh it. 1555 wow what a steal you're spending a thousand pounds on wheels and they still weigh over 1500 grams mate uh right and then um have we got on to the, the next part oh no sorry i think i missed that part they're only tubeless yeah 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 sorry here i've missed it you, you can't run tubes so you know if you're riding gravel you might want to go tubeless but you might not maybe you want the option but no you're spending a k on a wheel set you've got no option you have to run tubeless can't more than 73 psi. Did I mention you can only have disc brakes? Don't think I did, so they're only disc brake. So it's like, what are you paying for, man? You're paying for this zip name. That's it. They're not even that good. They're not even that light. We'll get onto the aero in this here. Um, but I'm gonna show you some other options first. We've got wind space. These are rated highly by China Cycling. I think he's ridden them. He has some sort of deal with wind space, but anyway, so these are the wheels, carbon spokes, they're disc and rim. 38 mil disc 1343 that ah, boy you can't complain about that that's you know what 200 grams lighter 215 grams lighter and um the cost is 1100 dollars which is about you know 900 pounds or so these were uh, uh, 975 pounds i think they were so about 1200 dollars um so these are cheaper um and they weigh less um they've got carbon spokes you can have up to 135 kilos, that's pretty decent. Um, we'll keep scrolling down, you've got two year warranty. And um, I, I also believe that the maximum pressure allowed to go up is 120. Um, I also believe that um, you can run tubeless on these wheels, but you don't have to. Um, so yeah, you know, I I would say it's pretty pretty good wheel, uh, all in all. Um, I may have missed a couple details, but for me, lighter, tubeless or tubed, and PSI up to like 100 and something. Yeah, so that 100 PSI is plenty for road tubeless. So, you know, this is the bit where we're enjoying this part. And uh, rim or disc. So, you know, if I'm in the market, I'd buy those. We now go over to Yolio, who are a very reputable brand. Um, and people used to not think they are, but that they are. Um, Yolio is generally seen as, you know, like the equivalent as pretty much any top wheel manufacturer. Uh, again, $986, so cheaper than the Yolios, even at their more expensive price, still cheaper than the Zips, sorry. Um, the Yolio is cheaper than the Zips. Um, so we've got no rim tapes required. You can run them tubeless, you can run them clincher. No need rim tape, that's pretty nice. Um, we've got the Hubs, Hubs DT Swiss, people think they're good. Uh, again, Hubs, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, we can look at some weights, some 1,425 grams. So, you know, that's like another 130 gram saving. Um, they're cheaper. 
um, you've got to weight them 105 kilos, you can run them disc or rim, so these come in disc and rim, so the rim would be even and even lighter than this. So I just don't really know why you'd buy the zips, like they're more expensive than both of these options, they're heavier than both of these options, and they're more demanding, you can't, you have to have disc brakes, okay, maybe you have a disc brake back, that's not an issue, you have to run tubeless, and you have to run 173 PSI. And then you might be saying, well, Zip are going to re redeem themselves because they are the masters of aerodynamics. So we're going to go over to a good friend, Hambini. Hambini actually deleted this article. It's on the Wayback Web Machine. Um, obviously, if you haven't read this article, um, I 10 out of 10 would just go on hambini.blog. You can see the, the post here. Type that into Wayback Web Machine and you'll get the article. I shame he deleted it, but obviously he's had some issues with Cycling Weekly, um, some distasteful jokes, um, sort of. Um, so I can weekly took quite far. I'm not really going to give my opinion on that, to be honest, too much, um, because I think enough people have commented on it. Um, I'm just going to comment on what its power data is, um, and I think we can we can see here. So you know, if we just judge, you know, Yolio, let's say wind space. I'm not sure there haven't been any wind space tests, but you can see the Yolio C88, uh, 179 watts at 30k an hour, um, and then we can look. So I have to tilt my head because a lot of people can't actually see it. And the Zip 808s, which are 80 millimeters, so they're slightly slightly shallower, they're four watts slower. So you know you can see that you know they're in the they're in the right ballpark here. Um again if we can look at the zip 303 45 millimeter is gonna be 189 watts and then if we look at the Yolio 50 millimeter 185. So you can see there's like a four watt difference between them but obviously the zips are slightly shallower both times. So you know I would say within the right ballpark and obviously this rim apparently is worse according to zip i don't know what that means but apparently it's not as good that's why it's cheaper um you can also see this 454 is actually dreadfully and slower than it's 303 which i find quite funny um but anyway that's i mean that's that's pretty much all you need to say these wheels they're more expensive heavier only disc brake only tubeless maximum psi 73 and probably the same aerodynamics as windspace or yo-yo so I don't really get why you'd buy these zips. If anyone does know why you'd better buy zips, do let me know below. Guess you can show off to your cafe mates, but I think people think Chinese wheels. If someone turn up with some wind space carbon wheels, mate, oh, those are pretty sick to be fair, mate. I, I'd want a pair of these for hill climb season. Really want to hit a pair for hill climb season. Um, but yeah, like they look pretty sick. Yolios again, like it's all some lad with Yolios. I mean, there's just so much customization. You can change what hub, what color you want. I just don't get why you buy zips anymore, man. Second hand, fair enough, you get them cheap, but new zips, ah, waste of money in my opinion. Leave your thoughts below and uh, I'll see you in the next one.